As I'm filming this video, Bitcoin is at $51,350 per coin. So all is good in the world of crypto and we really are on our way to the moon. But all missions to the moon are risky and like Apollo 13, we need a plan to get back to Earth safely if something goes wrong. We've got multiple caution and warning, Houston. We've got a reset to restart. All right, I'm going to SDS. Because one thing we know about crypto is the volatility and crashes are part of the game. So in today's video, I want to show you how to use stop losses on Binance in order to minimize your risk of losing your money during a crypto crash. Whenever there's a spike in volatility, one of the most annoying things is a lot of the crypto exchanges such as Binance often are very difficult to access. So last week when Elon Musk announced that Tesla had bought Bitcoin, I wanted to go in and just check out my portfolio in Binance and at the time, soon after he made the announcement, Binance was completely jammed in. If the price was going the other way and it was falling very rapidly, I'd be worried that I wouldn't be able to get into Binance and place an order in order to sell and limit my losses. One way to avoid the situation is to have stop losses. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to give you a brief explanation of what a stop loss is. And then I will go and show you how to simply place one on the Binance exchange. Okay, so firstly, let's look at a quick definition of a stop loss for anybody who is not familiar with it. So a stop loss is an order placed with a broker to buy or sell a specific stock once it has reached a certain price. A stop loss is designed to limit investors loss on a security position. For example, setting a stop loss order for 10% below the price at which you originally bought the stock will limit your loss to just that 10%. So essentially that's what it is. It's just a good risk management tool that can help us limit our losses. So now I'm going to show you how it actually works on Binance. Okay, so the first thing you need to do when you log into Binance is go to the correct spot exchange. If for instance you're holding Bitcoin and you want to create a stop loss order for Bitcoin, you need to decide what currency you want to exchange your Bitcoin to in that instance. So if Bitcoin drops to a certain price, do you want to exchange it into euros, US dollar, or another crypto? So for instance here, what I want to exchange mine into is euro. So I have uh, the BTC euro spot exchange rate over here on the left hand side. So that's how I know I'm in the, the right area. So then once you have that done, you just scroll down to the bottom section here where you, where you can place orders. So as you can see here, you have a limit, market and stop limit orders. So the one we're looking for here is our stop limit order. So then simply how this works then is you have two prices that you need to enter here. You need to enter the stop price, the limit price and the amount of Bitcoin that you want to sell. So the stop price is basically like a trigger. So if the Bitcoin price say goes down to 35,000 euros, I'll put in here, then Binance will then execute a limit order. And the limit order they execute will be based on the price that you enter here in the limit price. So what's the best practice is to have your limit price slightly below your stop price. So I'm going to put it in here as 34,800 as my limit price. So what happens in that case is if the Bitcoin price goes to 35,000, Binance will execute a limit order for 34,800. And then if the price further drops to 34,800, it will sell my Bitcoin for the price at 34,800. You can set them both to the same amount, but the best practice is to have the limit price just slightly below the stop price. Basically, if the market goes into complete free fall where it's going directly down, there's a chance that your limit order will not be placed if it's too close to the stop order. So you need a little bit of time between the movement of the price between 35,000 and 34,800. So in order for your order to be processed correctly. So then in the amount section, you say in that instance, how much of your Bitcoin do you want to sell? So I'm going to say, I say here, I'm going to sell all my Bitcoin. And once you're happy with that, then you just hit sell. So then you will get this order confirmation, gives you a little summary. So I set my stop price to 35,000, my limit price to 34,800. And that's, I have only a very small amount of Bitcoin on Binance. So if the last price drops to 35,000 euro, an order to sell my Bitcoin at the price of 34,800 will be placed. And so I just hit confirm on that. And then my order is executed. So then you should be able to see it below at the bottom of the screen in your open orders here. And it's very easy as well. If you want to cancel it at any time, you can just hit the cancel button here on the right hand side and there's no cost. So that's basically how to do it. You can do the complete option of what I did there by putting your stop and limit prices in the buy section. So that will, in that case, buy Bitcoin if it hits a certain price. So you have your options there to go both ways. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, make sure to um, subscribe to my channel and like the video. I would really appreciate it. Thank you.